Hello students, Samagra Shiksha Siddhipet presents Our World Through English Class 7, page 72, Unit 5, A Trip to Andaman, page 73, A Reading we had been longing to make a trip to Andaman and Dad made it possible for us during the last summer holidays. Soon after the examinations, Mom made preparations for the trip. On the 25th of April, we took the Pinakini Express from Vijaywada and reached Chennai Central by 1 p.m. After lunch, we hired a taxi for the port. In the evening, we boarded a ship for Port Blair, the capital of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The ship looked much bigger than our school building. It had four stories. It set out after sounding a loud horn. People who had come to see off their friends and relatives cheered up them by waving their hands. My sister Amala and I too waved our hands while mom and dad smiled at us. Tall buildings, cell towers and factory chimneys began to vanish gradually. After a while, the twinkling lights of Chennai bade us farewell. Soon everything around us began to look dark and calm. But inside the ship it was all bright and beautiful. When we closed the windows and doors of our cabin, we did not feel the movement of the ship. On the second day, we came to know that we were in the middle of the sea. The weather was pleasant on the sea. The day was sunny and the sea was reflecting the clouds like a flat mirror. We saw dolphins swimming along the ship. They sprang and dived again and again. It was quite amusing. I was curious to know what other people were doing on the ship. So, I went around. I saw some watching films and some others eating and drinking in the restaurants. A few were buying things in the fancy stores. I was surprised to see some in a saloon getting their hair cut. The medical staff was busy treating the patients suffering mostly from seasickness. The sanitary workers were on their job of keeping the cabins, corridors and toilets neat and clean. The crew of the ship was very friendly and courteous. They gladly answered all my queries about the ship. Page 74 It was the third day. Early in the morning, Mom woke us up to show as the magnificent spectacle of the dawn at the sea. After two days, we reached Port Blair. Dad, do you have any idea about these islands 
and the people who live there? I asked. Dad said, I know a little. There are about 600 islands. They are located between India's coast and Myanmar. Only 37 of them are inhabited. They have plant, animal and marine life in abundance. We learned that the inhabitants of the islands were the aboriginal tribes. Some of them lived far away from the civilized society. Despite this, the islands today look like a miniature India. We saw people of different languages, cultures and faiths living together happily. We visited a famous national monument, the Cellular Jail. We learned that the Cellular Jail was built by the British. It was no longer a jail. It had been converted into a big hospital. Mahatma Gandhi Marine National Park after a while, we reached an exciting place, the Mahatma Gandhi Marine National Park. The park was spread over a wide area of 15 islands. Open creeks running through the park area were a special attraction. We watched coral reefs fishes of different colors and sea turtles through glass-bottomed boats. For some time, we felt ourselves as a part of them. Amala and I cheered the fish and turtles. We traveled by a ferry from Port Blair to a place called Havelock Island. The ferries carry people, vehicles and goods. We enjoyed Pani Puri, samosas and garam chai during the ferry journey. Page 75 Havelock Island A majestic lighthouse greeted us on our arrival at the Havelock Island. We felt as if the sandy beaches and greenish-blue sea were warmly welcoming us. Some foreign tourists on the beaches were basking in the sun and enjoying themselves. We saw tourists enjoying swimming in the sea and riding on elephants. Silky sands, foaming tides and cool breeze of the sea attracted us very much. We took lots of pictures of the beautiful scenery. Scuba Diving we visited the beach called Elephant Beach. To our amazement, we saw some swimmers diving into the sea from the motor boats. They were dressed in a different way. They put masks on their faces and carried air cylinders on their backs. I asked dad, why are the swimmers diving into the sea? Dad replied, they want to watch the coral reefs 
and beautiful colored fishes and sea turtles they stay for a long time beneath the sea and swim along with them it is called scuba diving the scuba diving filled my heart with a spirit of adventure i wished i could do it elephant ride on the beach lastly we visited radha nagar beach it was a beautiful place with white sand and thick green forests along the coastline we saw a man riding an elephant he offered rides on payment my sister amala and i enjoyed a jolly ride on the elephant we tasted delicious tandoori fish and other seafoods on the islands my mouth still waters when i remember those moments i cherish the memory of the great fun we had i'll never forget my trip to andaman